Happy Wednesday afternoon, everybody. Hope, uh, hope your morning has been good. Just thought I'd give you an update on what I did today. So, nothing too exciting, but uh, this morning, I actually slept in quite late given the fact that I, I think I got home about 1.15 this morning from work. But I don't think I woke up until like after nine. So that was a pretty good healthy amount of sleep, which is, it's kind of good because sometimes I don't always get at least eight hours of sleep. But anyway, obviously I ate a very late breakfast and I shaved. I noticed in the video last night I was looking pretty scruffy. So this morning I shaved. And anyway, so after eating breakfast, I went upstairs and for the purposes of this job, I have an app on my phone that logs the miles that I drive. And then what happens is, is I can compile those uh, different drives on a monthly basis for doing my taxes, which I'll need to do at the beginning of next year. But um, it doesn't always, sometimes it adds trips that are not trips for the job, just by virtue of the fact, you know, I might have to go up to the grocery store, for example. So it adds those. So I always make sure to delete them. Sometimes it actually misses portions of my route when I'm actually working. It's not perfect. It's good enough, but it, I have to go back and I have to check and make sure that all of them are correct and accurate. Uh, anyway, I hadn't done it since like July. So I, I had to go back and I had to check August, September, and October now that it's November 1st. And... Actually, it looked pretty good, all things considered. There was two days that were kind of messed up, um, missing good chunks of the route, and I had to manually enter those in. But anyway, and then I printed out all the reports that I've generated from the time I started in May until, obviously, the end of October, and then I still got to do November and December's. And I print them all out that way when I go in to file my taxes, it's all right there. It's all finished and ready to go. Uh, so then, okay, so I finished with that. That took a little bit of time because obviously you have to go back through three months of data. Then I decided, so I've got a trip coming up in December that I actually had bought earlier this year. Uh, so at the time, at the, my previous job where I was working, so I get two weeks of paid vacation. Well, one of those weeks would have been in July, and the other week was supposed to be in December. Well, anticipating this, because I thought I'd still be working there, so I, I bought a vacation package. It was, um, so it's three days in London, three days in Paris. Uh, mind you, the first day of London and the last day of Paris are actually travel days. So it's actually two full days in London, two full days in Paris. Um, anyway, so I have already bought like everything that I need for the vacation, but only from, so the flight starts originates in Chicago, but I'm not in Chicago. So I had to figure out, I thought I might actually just fly there fly to Chicago. That way I could leave my car at home. The problem is, is that the flights are so expensive coming back, not going to Chicago, but coming back. It's like way cost prohibitive. It's, it's ridiculous. So, um, I was originally thinking just like, uh, parking at the airport, but even that was actually kind of pricey. It was like, I don't know, whatever, three or 400 bucks at least. Uh, but I still needed a hotel, right? Because um, the flight 
from Chicago leaves at 9 a.m. So I need to be in Chicago the night before. That way I'm ready to go. Anyway, so I hopped on Priceline this morning. Um, that's that that travel website that William Shatner used to be the spokesperson for. So I hopped on Priceline, but I didn't do a, uh, you know, let them find it for me for a less expensive cost. I wanted to pick my own hotel. So I paid a little bit more for that uh, benefit. But anyway, so I uh, I did get a hotel. It's um, the uh, Holiday Inn uh, at, at O'Hare. It's actually just outside of the airport, but so it's it's conveniently located uh and then i booked that and so that was about 130 after taxes uh and then i decided to call them up and i asked how much will parking be per day for me to park there while i'm in um europe and they told me it's only going to be $15 a day to leave my car there at the uh, Holiday Inn. And that is a lot less expensive than the long-term parking at the airport. And they provide a shuttle to and from the hotel to the airport. So that was a no-brainer. So I got the hotel and I've got the parking situated. So on Friday evening of December 8th, I'll be driving, uh, well, I'll probably leave in the afternoon, but uh, driving out to Chicago, and I'll be back, well, so we leave, the, the vacation itself actually starts on December 9th, which is a Saturday, and we'll spend most of Saturday traveling. That gives us all day Sunday and all day Monday in London. Wednesday will be um, kind of in the morning. It'll be, uh, you know, we'll have to check out, obviously, but we take a uh, one of that channel train or the channel uh, ride from London to France. Um, and then we'll have the evening in Paris of that Tuesday. And then basically all day Wednesday, all day Thursday in Paris. And then Friday, we travel back to Chicago, where I will then go back to the hotel, obviously, pick up my car and drive back to Des Moines. Uh, but we do, we're due back in Chicago at about, I think it's about 2.30. So I should be able to be in the car by 4, hopefully. Uh, keeping my fingers crossed on that one. But uh, anyway, so I got that taken care. So I got the I got the uh, the app worked on to get the data correct on my phone. I got the hotel booked for my stay in Chicago. Got the parking situated. So I actually got two big things done. I didn't get everything done that I wanted. I never never ever have enough time. Actually, even after I'd fixed that, done that hotel, I'd got the hotel situated, and I looked up at the uh, uh, the phones or the the clock on the phone and saw it was like 1:15. I'm like, oh my god, where'd the morning go? So, yeah, the day flies by so quick. Uh, the next thing I would oh, I forgot uh, two other things. I um. So I'm a member of this uh, Golden Rule Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Uh, I've got like a member of their gold club so that, uh, you know, you get like free annual inspections and all that stuff. But uh, they offered a free electrical check of the house of systems. So I arranged that and they'll be coming tomorrow. And then I also scheduled a heating system check, but that one won't be until about mid-December, so that one's going to have to be about another month and a half, but uh, it's free, doesn't cost me anything, so I did get that accomplished. One more thing I'd like to fix or get worked on 
is uh, I want to, these glasses are a couple years old now, and what I would like to do is I would like to update my prescription, so maybe I can make an appointment for that tomorrow, and then what I'd like, I, so I always get a new pair of frames, but, so I like the general style of these, uh, but what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to do a little bit more color. Uh, my last few frames have all been black like this, but what I would like to do is I would like to maybe get a very, possibly like a very bright blue perhaps. I'll need to see them, but I, uh, I don't know. I just the I've seen a pair on somebody else. I thought they actually looked pretty good. The biggest problem is is trying to find where you can find all these large selection of frames. Uh, I've looked in the past, and it seems like these places always talk about they have a large selection, but then I go to look, and it's just like they they're offerings kind of leave me a little bit uh, lackluster, I guess. I don't know, just it's not an impressive collection, but I, I would like to get, actually, maybe even like um, like a blue slash white, like a combo frame. Uh, maybe like the lens portion up here in the front could be the blue, and then the, the arms here will be uh, like white or something. I don't know. Um, just some thoughts. I would like to get that taken care of, especially if I could get it done before I go to England. But um, anyway, this will probably be the only video I do today. Maybe unless something sparks my creativity. But uh, yeah. Anyway, just thought I would uh, create this little video for you let you know I was actually semi-productive today, not being lazy, and uh, I'm just getting ready to go to work now, so anyway, I hope all of you have an awesome rest of your day, and uh, don't get in any trouble out there, okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.